Welcome back to the channel. This is the Action Figure Grader, and today we're going to look at recent sales for mainly mint on card figures. But as you can see by this thumbnail, there were some oddities, some non action figure type stuff, play sets, micro collection, two different Star Wars laser pistols, the famed DL44. And we had a Rebo band, which was pretty cool. Uh, all, all of these were either graded or ungraded and sold mainly at auction. I did find a couple of buy it now, make an offer situations that I wanted to cover because they were pretty rare and I didn't even have time to send out a buy it now alert to my Patreons for one of them. It was just one of those items that does not come up often and sold for big money. As always, thanks to my Patreon supporters, you guys allow this channel to happen. Patreon.com slash Action Figure Grader is where you can go to sign up. All right, let's take a look. We've got LM Lane is a seller. I don't know him personally or anything, but I've bought several items from this seller before. Really awesome items. Ungraded and graded, loose completes. He's got all kinds of great stuff. He had this 12-back C Death Squad Commander that I thought sold for a very fair price. It was a clear blister. Uh... You can see a little bit of pull away on the right hand side. It looks like it could be reflections on the blister there. So that held the price down. It was also kind of a dirty card. It just had a lot of mold or dust or something like that on there. But I thought this was a good example of you don't necessarily need to grade something like this. This is just a nice display piece if you're into collecting 12 backs. That one sold in an auction 52757. 12 back C. Death Squad Commanders in high grade usually go for between eight fifty and eleven fifty, depending on the quality of the card back, unpunched versus punched, things like that. But I don't, I didn't think this was a terrible deal at all at five twenty seven. Uh, here was another favorite seller of mine here recently, Gold Star Tech. I bought a couple of baggies from this seller. I bid on a number of other items, but lost. But he had this. 12 back C Stormtrooper, which I think might have gotten relisted because of non payment, but I can tell you that this seller is legit. I got my two baggies and they were just perfectly packed. I mean, I, one of the best packing jobs I've ever seen, and it had arrived in like two days. So, this 12 C Stormtrooper AFA 80 and the sub scores were 80, 75, 85, and every bit of an 85 on that Stormtrooper. It looks great. And uh, no price sticker, but it was punched. Thirteen fifty was the final sales price on that one. Uh, same seller also had this twenty-one back transition card, Hammerhead. Uh, very tough to find. Pretty much any of these twenty-one back ESB card backs. I think the only one I've got is the Death Star droid, but this was unpunched. No price sticker. It did have some, you know, some issues to it. It was not perfect, and hence the final sales price. You can see some crimping on the blister there at the top of the blister and then in the upper right hand corner it had some scuffs things like that so i would guess probably a 75 would be my guess on this one but 376 is not a bad deal at all clear blister it looked like to me so uh, you know keep an eye out for those but uh in any transition card esb secret star wars action figure offer only has first 21 figures and we've got another graded one coming up here in a second uh, here is a Dengar that I thought sold for a song and a dance. I, I think this has got a really good chance at an 80 grade. It was clear blister as well. Uh, the blisters on Dengars, as you know, are just very tough to find super clean like this. But, uh, that one was a very nice example and it sold for $230. This was, I believe a 41 back. Let me take a look. Yeah. 41 back. Eh, there we go. 41 back. And it was in great shape. I mean, really, really clean example. And two hundred and thirty dollars is probably a good two or three hundred bucks less than what I was expecting. At least two hundred bucks. So uh, that one just sold for a lot less than than I was really expecting. Uh, same seller also had a seventy five plus forty eight back B Snaggletooth. So this is actually a real sticker on the front of the card back. The forty eight Bs were actual Revenge of the Jedi stickers. The 48 C's is where they moved over to printed offers. And it was clear blister, unpunched, no price sticker, 346. Really, really cheap price, I thought, for a snaggletooth on that card back. So uh, somebody got a good deal on that one as well. Uh, same seller also had this Palatoy Han Hoth clear blister. And, uh, you know, it did have a crease in the upper right hand corner that you can see there. So that probably holds it back to about a 75 overall. But it was only 158 bucks, so you got to keep an eye out for this seller. 
I added him to my favorite sellers list because this, at least lately, this seller has been listing new auctions almost every single day, and you never know what he's going to see. He's got baggies, graded baggies, ungraded baggies, uh, loose graded, and mint on card. So play sets, all kinds of good stuff. So keep that seller on your watch list if you are into getting some good deals. And, and he, he always lists his auctions as free shipping as well. So uh, there's some good deals to be had from that seller. Here is that other 21 back ESB card back. And this is one I did manage to see get listed. And uh, it, it's from a seller who's a friend of mine. And he's got an incredible collection. He's always upgrading his collection. He's, I mean, his, his collection is on par. I'm not saying it's as good as Jeff Jacob, but it's pretty close. And uh, it might, I mean, I don't know what his whole collection looks like, but I've seen bits and pieces of his collection on Facebook and different posts. He's got every iteration of every character. And so he's constantly upgrading his, his items. And so this one was an AFA 75 ESB 21 back for the Death Star droid. Clear blister. And it had a, I don't know if this is like a service merchandise sticker. It says Wilson's price. So I don't know Wilson's, but that's a pretty cool looking price sticker. It reminds me of like JC Penney and Sears and, you know, service merchandise, things like that. So it was listed for $600, but there was a best offer accepted on that one. I don't know what it sold for because 130point.com is not working this morning before I filmed this video. But I, I, I personally love the ESB 21 back transition cards. There's something about the back of that card back that it's really unique. And, you know, again, I've only got this one in an AFA 80 and I paid a lot more than what this one sold for. So, uh, I'm assuming it sold for like 550 or so somewhere in that ballpark. Um, but that's that I thought that was a really good deal given what I paid for my AFA 80 for the same character, same card back. So I know who bought that one as well. It's a friend of mine. So that was a good buy there. This is another good buy that somebody bought from my buy it now alerts. This is the ESB carrying case graded AFA 80 factory sealed. You can see the, the plastic strip wrapping it. And this is another favorite seller of mine, South Beach Toys. I bought several items from this seller, baggies and all kinds of good stuff. So you can buy from this seller, uh, very trusted. I know this seller watches my uh, watches my videos as well. And this one had the Wampa in the top right corner. I feel like this is the harder to find of the two carrying cases. There's one with Yoda in the upper right. And then there's this one with the Wampa in the upper right. But I, I prefer this one personally. I just think it's got a very unique kind of art art style uh, to to this carry uh, to this carrying case. You've got the scene where where Han Solo shoots at Vader in the dining dining room over at Bespin, where he gets betrayed by Lando. You've got the Hoth stormtroopers placing the tripod laser cannon to try and stop the Millennium Falcon. As it leaves Echo Base, uh, you've got the training scene. I mean, this is just an awesome, awesome artwork to it. And it also has, of course, the cloud car pilot on the case, which, of course, you know you know me. I love the cloud car pilot. So there's a lot going on on this one. And I have to admit, if I had more space in my collection room, I would have bought this in a heartbeat. So I thought 650 was a great deal. And I don't know who bought it, but it was a Patreon supporter. So whoever it was, thank you for using the affiliate link when I sent that out to my Patreon supporters. So great deal at 650 bucks, free shipping as well. Next up was a 32A white Bespin security guard. It did have a slightly yellowed blister, but it was graded AFA 80. And that one sold at an auction from another seller that you can trust, the Biker Scout Bunker. I just bought three different Tri logos that were all graded from this seller. They have not arrived yet, but he and I communicate on Instagram. So I wanted to make sure to give a shout out to Matt, uh, the Biker Scout Bunker. He's on Instagram and he's also on eBay and uh, just a great dude. Great, He's got a, another incredible collection. I've seen some of his posts on Facebook. So uh, he's got just an unbelievable collection. So this one did sell for $230.50 and this one ended the same night. I was bidding like crazy on his tri logos. I got a couple of different 48 back transition card free nine num offers. This is another one that was picked up by a Patreon supporter. It, um, it, this was the Leia Bespin, and unfortunately, it did have some scuffs in, right next to Leia. So I think that'll hold the score back to you know at best like a 75. But 
It was a clear blister, unpunched. I think it gets a 75, maybe a, a 70 for the card score, but the blister and the card score, the blister and the figure scores will, will bring it up, I think, to a minimum of a 75. That's my guess. Um, that one sold in an auction for 374.69. That was the, the final winning bid on that one. I think this one was a relister as well from somebody who did not pay. Uh, but you know, the rest of the card looked really great. It's just unfortunately had the litho damage from when someone tried to remove the price sticker. It's unfortunate that they did because I would have easily gotten an 80, I think, or, or higher, 80 plus, if that price sticker had just stayed in place. But anyway, congrats again to my Patreon supporter and buddy who picked that one up. Here's another one that if it had been listed any other time, I probably would have bid on this one. Um, this is the Forlom on the same card back, the 48 back, AFA 85, clear blister, unpunched, no price sticker. Yes, please. But unfortunately, it was ending right as all these awesome tri logos were ending that I was bidding on. So I had to, you know, I, I, I didn't have enough money to buy everything. So I had to pick and choose my battles. And so I had to let that one go. But I wanted to get this one so badly because I've got this same card back for Bosk as well as Dengar. So it would have been really awesome to get another bounty hunter in high grade on that same card back. But uh, the timing was just terrible. So 560 took that one home. A couple of different Lukes sold. First was a more common one. The second one, though, that I'm going to show you in a second was a monster. Uh, this 77 back A Luke Jedi Knight, green lightsaber, obviously. Unpunched, no price sticker, AFA 80, yellow blister, 405. That was a great deal. And like I've talked about recently, Luke Jedi's, like the more common Luke Jedi's, have come back down to earth in price. You know, I'd say a year ago, this was probably more like 550, if not higher. So, uh, you know, if you're looking for Luke Jedi's mint on card, and, you know, I, most of them, if not all of them, are going to be yellow blister, unless you're talking about the tri logo. Um, Now's a good time to get those, I think. You know, like 77 backs, 79 backs, 65 backs that are more common, uh, you know, more common Luke's inside. But then we got this one. So this is a pretty rare one. This is the 65 back A Luke Jedi AFA 80, yellow blister again. But this one has the molded face inside. Cape in bag as well. So this is a pretty unique one because the, the cape... Inside the blister has a bag inside. It was bagged. So I, that's the first time I've seen one of these in a while. I've seen a few of them on, on Facebook and like different private collections, but this is the molded face Luke mint on card, punched example, no price sticker, AFA 80s. Now it doesn't mention molded face, but it definitely is. You can see that very clearly. It's the molded face Luke and it was AFA 80. It was listed for 1675 and it sold instantaneously. It sold in like 30 minutes. So I don't know who bought it or what the final sales price is again, because uh, 130 points not working right now, but that's a very expensive item just given uh, the rarity there to have the cape in bag plus the molded face. So that kind of bucks the trend of what I was just talking about. This is going to be an expensive one. And obviously it was 1675 and it sold instantaneously. Two different laser pistols sold. First, the Star Wars example, Star Wars packaging. This one was from CIB. That was an AFA 80 plus. It sold for 985. And then we had also this one that sold from another seller I bought from. This was the Return of the Jedi packaging, AFA 85. So very high grade on that one, 764. So depending on which packaging you're talking about here, 985 versus 764 for two high grade examples of the DL44 blaster. Going back to CIB, they had some other oddities that I wanted to cover, as well as a few mint on cards. First is the Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader carrying case. This one did have a $1 rebate offer on the packaging there. This one was graded AFA 80 plus and it sold for 820. So big number on that one, but that's a variation there with the $1 rebate offer. And then we had the Micro Collection Hoth Ion Cannon. This is one I had as a child and I played with this non-stop. I loved this item. I remember the clicking when you turned the Ion Cannon. Uh, that was just one of those items that I absolutely loved. So this one was AFA 75 and sold for 305. Then we had a Jabba the Hutt Action Playset graded 
AFA 75, so mint and seal box. It had some wear to the box to it, but 810 took that one home. That's a big number for an AFA 75, I thought. Uh, here is a Stormtrooper 79 back B graded AFA 80 plus. Now this one also had the tape on the blaster, but it's not mentioned on the AFA label. So that to me signifies that all 79 back Bs storm for Stormtrooper had the tape on the blister. There were there was another card back iteration for the Stormtrooper where the AFA label mentioned taped blaster. So some of them came taped, some of them came with the blaster inside the Stormtrooper's hand is my guess. So that's that's why sometimes AFA doesn't label things. It just depends on that particular card back whether they all had the tape bla uh, blaster or some of them had the blaster in the figure's hand. So I guess for the 79 back B they all did. Uh, that one, again, was an AFA 80 plus yellow blister, unpunched, no price sticker. And you can also see the SKU running change sticker in the upper left-hand corner. So anytime you see those black stickers with a new SKU number, that just means that some of them had the old SKU printed on the card back. And for whatever reason, Kenner was switching over to new SKU, so they have to update it with the new sticker. I've got a at at driver just like that so that was a really cool item for multiple reasons here was a size snoodles Re max rebo band and this was an afa 80 so i thought that was a pretty cool item this one was at auction i thought it was a little over graded uh, because it had the crease going all the way across the back some obvious scuffing and things like that it was unpunched but you know even on the front you can see some pretty obvious scuffing all the way around it. So I was a little surprised that one got the 80. That one seems overgraded to me. And that's why it sold for what it did. It sold for $430. So I think the market basically agreed with me that AFA 80 was too high for this item. And I think a true AFA 80 with no, no fold to the flap, no major scuffing, maybe some light scuffing. But if it was an AFA 80 without the kind of obviously bad aesthetics um i think it would have doubled that price closer to 800 bucks maybe 850 somewhere in that ballpark and then finally another weird item that you don't see often is the ewok fire cart this is kind of the kenner preschool line of toys i kind of like the box art on it to be honest with you it's pretty cool there i, I like that a lot and you can see wicket the ewok uh is in the upper left hand corner that one sold for 285 afa 80 plus so not very desirable i guess among collectors but to me it's pretty cool i i, I think it's a really unique item uh and i thought that was a great deal at 285 bucks for an afa 80 plus anyway i hope you enjoyed this look at recent sales thank you as always for watching please leave me a like and i'll be back soon